Okay, I'm just doing a quick video to show you my FX5 setup with an inline diffuser, CO2 diffuser. The reason I'm showing you this is because I tried to set this up and I've done a lot of research online and there wasn't kind of just one place I could look which would tell me everything. It was just a bit of a pain in the ass to be honest. So I've got my FX5 with the standard tubing that comes with it and it's one inch tubing which is 25 millimeters internal. So what I've done is I've got Jubilee clips holding it on, so these little rubber caps, you can buy them online on the Fluva website. I bought another one and I've got a T here. Now you can get a T where it reduces it down to 16 because the inline diffuser is 16.22 I think. So anyway I couldn't find one so I've got a T here and then a bit of poly pipe polypipe I couldn't even find 25 mil polypipe so I've ended up using 19 mil polypipe and I soaked it in hot water to loosen it up to try and get it over these joints that's why I haven't got Jubilee clips here because it's already very very tight so that's the polypipe and then there's a reducer here going from 25 down to 16 then there's a 16 pipe going to the diffuser the CO2 diffuser, Jubilee clips, 16 all the way back round to the other T, and then off to the off to the fish tank. Now the reason I've done that is because this one inch pipe, if I reduced it down to 16, it would restrict the flow quite a lot on the pump. Now it probably can handle it, I don't know, but it just doesn't seem like a good idea. So I've got a T, a T, and a, a ball valve. So all I've done there is polytube, polytube, ball valve in the middle. Well the reason I've got the ball valve is because if I close it just slightly, it'll give a bit of back pressure forcing the flow of the water into the 16 pipe, which is where I've got my CO2 diffuser. So that will run through to the other side and then off into the tank. Another problem I had is actually finding a CO2 tank. So what I've ended up doing was just getting a CO2 fire extinguisher. I just unscrewed the hose which was on there, it was really easy, very safe. Um, I've got my dual regulator, pumped a bit of pressure into that side, moved it to about 3 or 4 bar this side and then I've got my uh, bubble counter. I've also got um, this automatic pH tester, so you see my pH is 7.65 at the minute. Now what happens is you calibrate that with some solution that they send you, which is this stuff. So you can calibrate it to the into the solution. Then you put the sensor in the tank, and that's it. That's reading the pH of my tank. So what happens is if my pH is too high, it turns the plug on, which turns this valve on, which allows the gas to come through, the CO2 gas which then travels through to my diffuser and then off into the tank. So it's a, it's a new setup. I haven't actually done anything yet. I've only just bought the tank. I've got nothing but water in it at the minute and a bit of, bit of sand. And underneath the sand, I've got aqua soil. Planted my first few little plants there, but you know, I haven't really started yet. So there you go. So. It was an absolute nightmare, to be honest, just finding the parts. So FX5, one inch tubing or 25 mil, T-junction, polytube, which is 25 mil, reducer, 25 to 16, 16 mil tubing, diffuser, 16 mil tubing. I've got the reducer there, 16 to 25, polytubing, T, and then I've got a valve in the middle just to apply a bit of back pressure to allow more flow into this part of the line. But there's, I'm not restricting the flow of the pump, which is good. So there you go. I will update you if my plants grow or if they die, who knows. I just bought some more online. Do you know these little tubs you get? So I'll get them planted and I'll see what happens. But first things first, get my water levels. So, okay, enjoy. I hope this helped someone because 
this video would have been very helpful to me had I had it at the time.